Good afternoon, distinguished colleagues. Thank you for the opportunity to make this presentation and participate at this event. I would like to present our presentation on opportunities and perspectives of Bauchi based fluorescent ICC exudative of fluid. We have very uh, short time. Fluorescent ICC, it is one of the ways of ICC uh, with the use of fluorescent coloring uh, substances. We need fluorescent microscope for this um, research. Uh, the first time it was done by Albert Kunz. Uh, he studied the liver of the mouse. In the late 1950s, Riggs followed uh, his way and he uh, studied fluorescent isotiers, cyanate, FITC. But it was not spread because the antibodies were very difficult to be established. In the 1990s, new fluorescent color colorants appeared and they gave an opportunity to prolongate the fluorescence lighting. Immunocytochemical coloring was have been used has been used fluorescence is studied by different uh, branches of the science uh, the uh, ifitc has two methods direct and indirect this uh, the first is has higher lighting higher coloring it is what we need to find out adenocarcinoma there is a huge number of works on uh, markers BRP4. This marker was uh, researched in the um, diagnostics of exudative fluids. It is used for research in uh, exudative fluid, mesocarcinoma, and so on. And the first works date back to the early 1990s, but there are a few works on uh, fluorescent uh, ICC. The Japanese researchers edit it with intraoperational research. This research is very important for staging of gastric cancer. Uh, the goal of our research is to evaluate the prospects and opportunities of using fluorescent research of exudative fluids and on their chips. And the researchers from Nizhny Novgorod have developed uh, very efficient materials for uh, pursuing different scientific goals. They have uh, the same uh, structure, two parts of it, functional and working ones. The functional part has the information on the location of antibodies in the cells and how it can be fixed uh, manually. And the working um, part is divided by some partition with an adhesive surface and with a specific number and composition of antibodies and it is uh, also um, covered with the filming. So in the first stage we uh, perform the research on the fluids and liquids. At the second uh, stage we conduct uh, the research using biochips with the BRP4 uh, body. After we get the residue, we distribute it in uh, different cells of uh, biochips and then the incubation takes place uh, 37 degrees, 30 minutes. Uh, then uh, we wash uh, it and uh, view that on the microscope with a number of uh, filters. Uh, Alexander Olegovich has already mentioned that cytologists are like 
specialists from space. That is what we see in the inocular of the microscope. That is a kind of a telescope for us where we see uh, the bright coloring of aden adenocarcinoma at the third stage after the evaluation of fluorescence. The material is fixed and we color it according to the standard uh, methodics. Uh, so then we perform uh, the analysis, the ICC analysis, and we have the highly differentiated uh, structure of it. In our research, we use the material of Plivra and also uh, the swabs from abdominal cavity, metastasis uh, from adenocarcinoma, uh, and also uh, the tumor, gastric tumor, and we distributed it like that. In uh, seven observations, we had the um, adenoma validated, and this is a standard type of ICC. What we've seen after the fluorescent research, positive uh, reaction uh, only in four observations, and uh, this reaction uh, allowed us to change our usual ICC method. So specific uh, exudatives were distributed like that. 17 of them were positive with specific exudative and also uh, the reactive for one with the negative results and one specific one with a, a low uh, identity of uh, the um, carcinoma. But we have not changed the conclusions and the verdicts. The morphological results remain the same. As for reactive exudatives, the diagnosed was verified in three out of seven observations. This is 43%. In four cases, BIP4 BIP was active. And uh, we um, included this into the metastasis. Uh, for, for example, ovarian cancer in a young woman Yes, BIH4, this is a reaction, it is a real space, and uh, the breast cancer, another example, that is how it looks like on biochips. Another research with a gastric cancer, uh, and also other types of gastric cancer, that is how it looks like on the um, chips, biochips. So we are not limited to exudative fluids, but we start the research of solid tumors. And here, uh, the transport uh, feeding environment helps us uh, to preserve the material up to six uh, months. So uh, here we have uh, the good uh, amortization. Uh, no, uh, and uh, we do not lose the material, which helps us a lot. Uh, Cell-rich uh, fluid is kept, is stored like this, and we use uh, this standard number of actions, uh, such coloring and lighting on the microscope. So here um, we have the ICC images, and that is how it looks like on the biochips with the fluid fluorescent coloring, another uh, example of uh, breast cancer and ICC markers, and that is how um, the bright coloring of nuclear looks like. And one more time about the advantages of uh, biochips research. So uh, we use the effective system of control and the material can be stored for a long time. And uh, we have uh, the 15 times more probability of detecting that and also the cheap net cost. We now conduct the clinical trials of seven systems for breast cancer, for lung cancer, for pancreas cancer, uh, also for urine cancers and lymph glands and nodes. Um, unfortunately, I would like to apologize, but we have one report. Okay, yeah, uh, the last slide. So the ICC research with biochips is a very efficient method of uh, researching the exudative fluids 
and we um, detect what cannot be detected in all in other studies and it can be applied uh, when uh, in some urgent cases it does not require any uh, specific preparation for that and it is uh, rather cheap 